If you're paying attention to anything this week, it should be these two things. A hack-proof phone and the SEC passing new rules for companies that get hacked. The cellular equivalent of Martini, shaken, not stirred, has just been announced. This is the Katim phone, basically a phone made for super spies. Manufactured by Dark Matter, it's arguably the first smartphone with an unhackable microphone and camera. I know what you think. Every phone is hackable, but the Katim phone might actually be the real deal because it approaches a digital problem with an analog solution. Its shield mode literally disconnects the microphone and camera from the battery with the press of a physical button. If there's no power going to the camera and mic, there's no way it can be used to spy on you. Unless a super spy manages to get your phone and physically press the button that closes the circuit, you're safe, which makes it an ideal piece of hardware for the elite market of government officials, heads of state, and corporate moguls who hold world secrets in their hands. To put the threat in perspective, a new report tells us that modern smartphones get attacked within just two minutes of being turned on. Dark Matter's response to this terrifying fact is to create their own ecosystem of cyber defenses, including the phone itself, their Android-based OS, their own apps, and their own app store. The cherry on top is that they encrypt every phone call and exterminate all images after a set time. But if all else fails, the device does a full software check every time you boot up the machine. And if something is off, completely wipes it. Even though this phone could end up costing upwards of 10 grand, it's also for the people with the most to lose in a hack. Cybercrime is a massive industry, and last year it cost global business between $500 and $600 billion. And thanks to a new unanimous SEC ruling, these guys can't afford to get hacked and not tell anyone anymore. The TLDR is twofold. One, companies need to tell everyone if they have a security risk, even if hackers haven't attacked yet. And two, insider trading is still a big no-no. Big shot execs aren't allowed to trade stock if they know an attack just happened when they haven't told the public. The SEC may even go so far as to say execs can't trade at all even if a hack is just being investigated. A lot of these rules seem like common sense, but weirdly haven't been explicitly in place after two of the biggest hacks in the century were discovered. Specifically, when Yahoo lost 500 million users' data in 2014 and took two years to tell anyone, and Equifax. Equifax had execs selling shares in the days between the company's discovery of the hack and when they told people they were hacked. They had a board review though. Don't worry, they said it's cool. All this being said, Democrats still think these new rules don't have enough teeth, and they're looking to push for future policy that increases the accountability of shady cybersecurity rules at public companies. Whether it's for the world's most wealthy or for the biggest companies on the planet, cybersecurity is an issue that deserves more attention from us all.